The Globecaster Switcher is a multifunction 8 input switcher with integrated digital video effects, chroma keying, character generation, multi layer downstream key graphics engines, VTR transport control, and a whole lot more. The interface is set up to mimic a traditional 8 input video switcher, with buttons 1 through 8 being the live inputs and the four buttons on the right hand side being the internal inputs. These can be everything from a still image, a moving video clip, or a color screen that we can overlay text on. Now we'll move up to the bins where we keep all our content sorted. The bins give us a visual representation of any content that we might want to use during our live production. These can be special effects, credit rolls, lower thirds, stills, video clips, anything we might want to use during our live production. Now to use any special effects, all I need to do is find the PyCon in my bin, double click on it, and that effect will load into memory. Once the effect loads, all I need to do is click on the auto button, and my special effect happens. We'll go through and show you a number of different special effects here, which I can quickly do just by double clicking on my content and hitting the auto button. Notice that all the effects run in real time. This is a key feature of Globecaster and it's why it's so useful as a live production tool. We also have the ability to warp more than one video source at a time by using two warp engines in our Globecaster. This is an example of a dual warp effect as we're taking two different video sources and warping one into the bottom of the frame and one into the top. Now in addition to using transitional effects, we can also use animated graphics in our downstream key windows. Now we have up to four different layers of downstream keys that we can load up in the system. We can load up multiple graphics into each of the different engines. Here I am loading up three separate graphics into three different windows. We can fire off all the graphics layers simultaneously, or we can fire them off one at a time, building on top of each other to generate a multi-layered effect of graphics. The Globecaster Switcher can generate some really amazing eye candy, like what you're watching right here. We can take in virtually any type of image format, from sequential image files to QuickTime movies to AVI files, convert them into special effects and transitional elements. We can also take in virtually any still image file format and use that as part of our graphics layers as well. Now I'm going to go into the color correction panel, which allows me to do real-time color changes and effects to the video. And now, as I'm tweaking the knobs here, you can see that I'm making live, real-time color changes to the video. Here we are adjusting the saturation level of the color. I can blow out the colors for a very vivid look, or I can bring the colors completely down so I can go back to our old favorite, black and white. Here are some other special color effects that utilize the 3D spatial mapping of the color corrector. So here we are dragging the effect called skin down and dropping it onto my live camera. I then right click on the camera input and turn on the color effect and you can see that we've removed all the color from the video except for my own skin tone. Now there's so many different features we can cover with the switcher. We can save and load different layouts that correspond to different shows so this way we can quickly and easily move between the content from one show and the content of another show. One really important feature I'd like to show you is the waveform vector scope that's built right into the user interface. We can use the vector scope to check to make sure our colors are all within specified normal values. The waveform monitor can be used to look at each value of component video and make sure that everything is also within specified normal values. Having tools like the waveform vector scope built right into the Globecaster really save us a lot of time and effort having to set up external gear to be able to test the video signal. It's a real comfort knowing that those are built right into the Globecaster switcher. The VTR transport control panel allows us to control up to four different VTRs, use the pause and the transport controls here to queue up our tapes, and also set cue points so that way we can easily and quickly set up our commercial breaks. We also have the Time Machine button, which allows us to record video direct to the hard drives and play those clips back as more footage. By double-clicking on the video clip I want, it loads up into a soft button, and at that point I can do any transitional effect and fire off the video. So as you've seen, the Globecaster Switcher has live access of up to eight non-compressed video sources with full color correction, multiple still stores, matte generators, live control over transitions, digital video effects, animated overlays, title rolls and crawls, 
and control over real-time chroma keying and virtual set compositing. The Globecaster switcher takes all the tools to do live broadcasting and puts them together in an all-in-one, easy-to-use interface that's simple to understand. It really is a studio in a box.